Using our calculator to find a definite integral is very simple. So we're going to show with this example here, the integral from 1 to 8 of x cubed e to the negative 0.35x dx. So the first thing that I do is I graph this function. Now this function here, the actual little f of x, is what we're going to always graph. On simpler integrals, sometimes I'll see people graph the actual answer, the antiderivative. And that would actually be a mistake. We could use the antiderivative to get our answer quite directly. In this case, however, this would be a bit of work. This would require integration by parts three times in order to get this x cubed down to the size we want. So we're going to do this one by the calculator. And I've taken the liberty of graphing it already. x cubed times e to the negative 0.35x. So I have the same thing in the calculators here. And I've chosen a window from 0 to 10. I actually let the calculator choose the max and min. So that's what it looks like on a graph. Now to get the actual number answer, and recall when we don't have limits, the answer to an, an integral is a function. It's the function the antiderivative of this, whose derivative is this thing. But in this case, uh, we want a number. We want to find the area under the curve from 1 to 8. So what I'm going to do is second calculate, which is above trace, and number 7 is integral of f of x dx. So we can select it, you can move down to it. It asks you for the lower limit, which of course is 1 and the upper limit, which of course is 8. And it actually shades it in, which I think is kind of neat. So that's what you're finding is the area that shaded in, and it just gave me an answer approximately 122.984. Just that quick. So that's certainly faster than I could integrate this thing because it's actually a bit complex. We'd have to use integration by parts with u equal x cubed du e to the uh, dv e, e to the negative 0.35x, and then the du would be 3x squared, so it would come down each time you do this. You'd get another integral that required integration by parts. So if you just need a number answer, there's nothing wrong with using your calculator.